today's video, we're going to be exploring how well a bauble gets on with children and other pets. Welcome back to the Bauble channel. If this is your first time here, my name's Franny and I'm a certified canine leader here at FenrirCanineLeaders.com. This channel is dedicated to helping you learn everything you could possibly want to know about the bauble, then how to become high level canine leaders that can raise perfect baubles. So if you're a lifelong bauble lover, thinking about getting one or just started your journey with your new bauble, then this channel is for you. So make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so you never miss a future bauble video. So then let's get into today's video where we will be looking at how well a bauble gets on with children and other pets. Let's get started. Historically, these dogs were bred to aid the farmers of South Africa in defending their homes and land from predators such as hyenas, lions, and all other kinds of deadly wildlife. So inherently speaking, the bauble is utilized as a guarding and protection dog. The genetics they've inherited has given them the power to see off the most formidable predators that South Africa has to offer. And these are working dogs and will excel in a working environment. They form a close bond and have undeniable loyalty to their family and a keen sense as to what they need to protect, whether that's a house, land or humans. Although they're not ones to start a fight, they can easily end one and that has been a trait that was desirable at the time in which they were created. Even wounded, a lion, hyena or other African wildlife would still pose a threat and the bauble knows that. What is key here is that they will protect what is theirs to their last breath, and that's a special kind of loyalty shown by this massive breed. Baubles have a temperament that is rooted in a strong protective instinct and high intelligence, and this makes them very protective of their family, and they will be a great watchdog. They also show a willingness to please and have a fierce loyalty to their family and are especially affectionate with children. Pair this affection with the fact that they love to have a job to do and your child will have one of the best protectors and the dog will be at their happiest when both their mind and body are exercised. If they were to become a part of your family, it is advised that they are trained on a protection role to best exercise that brain of theirs. And this is because their intelligence is such that they can determine what is a threat to their family or property as well. And whilst they aren't inherently aggressive, they will fight to their last breath to protect what they deem important to them. And you want to have that confidence that they will protect what needs protecting. And that they also have a clear knowledge of what it is that deserves that protection. Hey guys, sorry to interrupt the video. I wanted just to quickly let you know, if you're interested in watching more videos about me actually working with dogs, following the cases of the behavior modification programs and the different training programs that I implement, as well as me training and raising my own dogs, then we've got a dedicated channel to that exact thing. It's called Fenrir canine training there's tons of videos on there and there's multiple new videos of me working with dogs and some of our Fenrir certified trainers working with dogs to give you incredible levels of value and to help you have perfect canine companions just like these guys here so there'll be a link in the description box below I can't wait to see you over on that channel this is a famously intelligent and protective breed from South Africa and through domestication they have also become the perfect family guardians they were entrusted by South African farmers to know when they would have to stand up to a threat and protect their land or livestock. And this they did unsupervised. To give that level of trust to a dog is phenomenal. And that intelligence or temperament hasn't disappeared at all, even though their job has shifted to more of a family guardian. That instinct to know when to intervene with a threat is a golden trait of this dog. And it's clear to see why they're becoming more and more popular in other countries other than South Africa. Historically, South African farmers entrusted the protection of not only their land and homes to these dogs, but their livestock too. This trait is a beautiful quality in these dogs for a family that has taken the time to train and socialize their bauble effectively. This dog will be ready to defend them at a moment's notice. And the key point here is effective socialization. Like with any dog, to socialize them at a young age is the best way to ensure harmony in the home. Especially with a big dog that's protected by nature. If you do bring a bauble puppy into a home with existing pets, supervised meetings and time together is key to teaching the bauble that this animal is also a part of the family, just as much as you or the other humans. And with the proper techniques and consistency, they will grow to learn that this other animal in the home is a friend and they will even become protective of them as well. But be wary of this, as whilst it's a beautiful thing that will go to protect other pets, if they deem another dog to be a threat to them, this could become an issue. 
Bubbles aren't inherently aggressive. Like I've already mentioned, they will act as though their family is under threat. Today, the Bauble still stands proud as a formidable guarding and protection dog, but their image has also evolved to be included as great family dogs. They will still thrive as a small holding or farm guardian, but their intelligence and attentive nature has made them adaptable to being watchful guardians in the home too. With children, they're astoundingly affectionate, and with other pets in the home, if socialised correctly, they will also become affectionate and protective of them too. Guidance and training with this breed is key to bring out the best traits, and they still are a favoured breed among South Africans for both guarding and family additions. I hope that you enjoyed today's video. If so, please make sure you hit that like button, get involved in the comment section down below, and don't forget that if you're new here, make sure you subscribe as we have two dedicated bauble videos coming here every week. So I can't wait to talk to you again on the next episode of the Bauble channel.